Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Tab back here with another video. And in this video today, we are going to be going over each and every one of the new reward cards dropped within NBA 2K21, my team. Remember, it is only four kind of weeks long this whole season. So, Larry Johnson, how is he going to look in four weeks? Elgin Baylor, that's kind of what we're going to be talking about today. But we also got the Galaxy Open rewards like Steve Smith, who is a token reward who could be solid, Zach Randolph, those types of guys. So we're going to be talking about every one of the Galaxy Open reward, rewards as well as these budget rewards in this video today. Uh, obviously, we, had, we did get new fan favorites as well, and that video is already up. So make sure to go watch that if you have not yet. If you are new to my channel, have not yet please consider smashing that subscribe button so we're on the road to 70 000 subscribers so we're just gonna start off with greg anthony gonna go through him quick there's a 52 gold badges but he's six feet tall greg anthony's a card guys that you should never use if you use this greg anthony with set shot four guys look i just don't know what to tell you do not ever use greg anthony unless it's for grinding xp David Wesley, another card, six feet tall, 43 badges, D Wage release on very quick. Hold up. 94, three ball, 80 driving. Now look, I say, I say it, guys. I say it since nobody else will say it. Hey, he's got D Wade's base on very quick. The dude could be a cheese ball for like a triple threat offline mode type, you know, type of mode, but he's only six feet tall. Does he have the curry escape? Does have the curry escape. So if you're looking for a card, maybe for just triple threat offline, this card really could be your man with the plan. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. Derrick Rose is the Evo up. It is okay. Look at Pink Diamond Derrick Rose. Six foot three, six eight wingspan. If you Evo him up, he does come with 30 out of famers and 20 on gold. 93 ball, 95 driving dunk, 98 speed with ball, 92 ball handle, 98 speed acceleration, 95 lateral quickness. Comes with Hall of Fame flexible range extender. Okay, Holly, only gold showtime. Are you kidding me for Derrick Rose? Here's the thing, guys. You can Evo this card up and you can get a very mid mediocre point guard. Or you can buy Penny Hardaway, who probably today is going to be close to 50,000 MT. Save your time, save your energy, and he's going to be way better than Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose Evo up isn't the worst, but you just can do a lot better stuff with your time. Or, and just make it work. Now, if you're a huge D-Rose fan and can't afford, you know, the Dark Matter, or I, I, honestly, at this point, just buy the Pink Diamond Derrick Rose. I bet he's cheap enough. Just don't spend your time doing this. It's just ultimately not going to be worth it. Next, you do get Amethyst Norm Nixon here. Six foot two, six seven wingspan. 50 on famous, 31 on gold. Okay, is a reward card. 93 ball, only a 50 driving duck. Play wise, solid. Speed, solid. Lateral quickness is solid. Finishing wise, obviously, can't even dunk. Does come with gold Ranger Center. Hall of Fame catch, shoot, Tyler, shooter, volume shooter. Playmaker wise, solid enough. Defensively, solid. Now, he does have decent tendencies like everybody does in the game. Jump shot seven on very quick. Not, not a release I don't think is going to be very good. Quick dribble style, pro two sides of escape. Look, if you're in desperate need of a point guard, he can maybe hold it down. But guys, you could get cards for less than 2,000 MT that are going to do better than this Amethyst Norm Nixon. After him, we are going to talk about Big Roy Hibbert, another Season 7 reward card. Now, I about put Roy Hibbert as far as a prediction, not a, not as a reward card, but like a token card is about what I what I was thinking. 7'2", seven 7'6", seven wingspan, hot spots from the corner, only 27 total badges, 17 all the famers, and 10 on gold, 79, 3-ball, 80 driving dunk. This card is an absolute garbage, man. If you use Roy Hibbert, man... What are you doing? The dude stinks. Now, unless he has base 98, he has Brooke Lopez. Like, the dude is a garbage can. Please do me a favor and never use Diamond Roy Hibbert, ever. Next, next we do get Diamond Carmelo Anthony Exchange Reward. Six foot eight, seven foot wingspan. Hot spots from everywhere outside of the left hash. He's an exchange reward and he only has six Hall of Famers. I thought 2K might change the, the, the format the way they did exchanges, guys. They did not. What am I looking at with Carmelo Anthony as far as an exchange reward? The dude stinks. He's a bona fide scrub. He can't play. Do not pick this dude up. Please, guys, listen to me. If all, this is, if all that you get out of this video is to not get LeBron James out of the exchange, this video is worth it. The dude stinks. Now, it's going to talk about a token reward. Tyson Chandler, diamond, 7'1", seven 7'3", seven wingspan, only 26 total badges. Can't even shoot like... I don't even know what to say, guys. Whatever you do, I mean, he might be the best diamond token reward, but I don't even know if I can say that. The dude can't shoot. If you're looking for an inside center, I mean, I guess. 
But at the end of the day, guys, he only has 26 total badges. Like, there's absolutely no reason to get Tyson Chandler. There's no reason for it. No reason at all. The dude stinks, guys. Tyson Chandler stinks in 2K. Next, you're going to talk about Kevin Martin. Okay, we got some hope here. Six foot seven, six ten weeks, been hot spots from every important spot. 26 Hall of Famers, 21 on gold. What release did they give him? Jump shot 26 on very quick. I think that's going to be a nice release. That's release Katino had, depending on the upper. Shifty dribble style, all pro one dribble six. Okay. So we know all of that going into it. 95 three ball, 90 driving dunk. 84 speed ball, you can get that up to at least to the upper 80s. 86 ball, 91 speed acceleration, 91 lateral quickness. Gold Showtime, Hall of Fame steady, range extender flexible. So on next gen, it's going to be incredible. Playbook wise, Hall of Fame ankle breaker hand is today's quick first step unpluckable. Defensively, he's at least going to hold it down. On next gen, if you need a shooting guard with Hall of Fame steady, hey, Kevin Martin has it. That's the only reason I'd use the card. He has good height, has the Hall of Fame blinders. Not exactly sure what the release is going to look like. But it is Katino Mobley's base on very quick. So I have hope for Kevin Martin if you are in next gen. It's just going to all, all come down really to how does he perform. After Kmart, we do got Harrison Barnes, a token reward, 6'8", 6'11", wings, pin hot spots from everywhere. 30 out of famers, 21 on gold. Again, a card I have hope for. I really do. I think Harrison Barnes can be solid. 92 three ball, 95 driving deck, 86 speed with ball. Only an 82 ball handle, so that's going to need to be upped at least a little bit. 90 speed acceleration, 98 vertical, 90 lateral quickness, not a great rebounder. Hall of Fame showtime range, flexible volume shooter, no steady. Hall of Fame quick first step, unpluggable, defensively solid. Badge wise is way better than his stats. His stats are pretty mid, I'd say, overall. See, so, tendency wise, Harrison Barnes release on very quick. It's his own release. We'll see what it kind of looks like. Shifty dribble style, pro two sides of escape. Profile move on the back is good on current gen. If you're on current gen, I think Paul Harrison Barnes has potential to be to at least be able to hold it down. I don't think he's that next level good, but for a free token reward, I don't think he's that bad. After Harrison Barnes, we're going to talk about our other exchange reward. CP3, 26 out of famers, 26 on gold. He is an exchange reward that probably costs a lot, so take that into consideration. Only six feet tall, 94 three balls, 70 driving dunk. Playmaker wise, I mean, he's okay all the way around. Hall of Fame range, Hall of Fame blinders, playmaking wise, Hall of Fame ankle breaker, quick first step, handers for days, and then defense please. Okay. I want to compare this CP3 to this one. Does this one have Hall of Fame blinders? So that's really it. I mean, this CP3 is just a much better version of this one. And I mean, I don't know what CP3's price is, but I guarantee I would just buy the Opal because you can always resell it. Do not waste your time, guys. Do not, I, I repeat, do not waste your time on this Chris Paul with normal release timing. Don't do it. It's absolutely not worth it. Do not, you know, under any circumstance, pick up Pink Diamond CP3. It is 100% not going to be worth it for you guys. After CP3, we are going to talk about Zebo Zach Randolph here. 6'9", 7 feet, 7 foot wingspan, center power forward. Hot spots right where outside of the top of the key. Does come with the 44 Hall of Fame badges, 19 on gold. Now, he's a season 7 reward, probably the level 33 reward, if I had to guess. 94 3 ball, 85 driving deck, 89 speed ball, 86 ball handle, 89 speed acceleration, 88 ladder quickness, good rebounder. Okay, I see him. Okay, Hall of Fame showtime, Hall of Fame range, flexible, hot zone hunter. Okay, quick first step, I see unpluckable. Defensively is solid as well. Okay, Zebo, let's let's talk about this. 95 driving dunk. What are these defensive tendencies? Are you kidding me? You make a Zebo that's usable until I get to the defensive tendencies. Just terrible. Zach Randolph release on very quick. I don't know what it looks like. Quick dribble style, pro two sides of escape. Next gen, I don't know if he's going to be able to do it because of his weight. Current gen, obviously not. But he does have the pro three boom by the back, pro two tween. Everything is fine about Zebo outside of the defensive tendencies and the fact that I don't know what his release is going to look like. But for a level 33 reward, I can't really complain. He's at least solid enough to have some hope. After that, we do get Galaxy Opal Stevie Smith, six foot seven, six ten wingspan, hot spots from everywhere outside this three point line. I was high on Steve Smith last year. We'll see what this Stevie looks like. 94 three ball, 85 driving duck, 88 speed ball, 90 ball handle, 90 speed acceleration, 92 lateral quickness. Pretty mid stats all the way around. Hall of Fame showtime range steady, so he's a next gen type of card. Flexible, hot start, hot zone hunter, ankle breaker, your hand is for days, quick first step, space guard, tight as unpluckable. Okay, I, I thought I overlooked quick first step. He has that. 
Defensively, Chase Artis clamps, hard crusher, intimidator, pick dodger, and Tyler Spinner. You want to know what's crazy? We got this Steve Smith today, and he still is not nearly as good as Kawhi Leonard that we got as our season four reward. Tendencies are very solid. Jump shot 22 on very quick. Going to be a nice release. Quick dribble style, pro two size of escape, pro three, we move by the back. Lots like about Steve Smith, probably our best Galaxy Opal Token reward, but still not going to be worth locking in. It's just the way it is, not going to be worth locking in the MT. He's okay, but it's just, we got cards that can do what Steve Smith can do for less than 50,000 MT. After, the, after Steve Smith, we do get our triple threat offline reward, Jerry Lucas. Now, here's a card, guys you guys need to watch out for six foot eight six eleven wingspan hot spots forever he is a power forward center which does hurt his value considering he's only six foot eight but he does have 45 hall of famers 19 on gold 96 three ball 85 driving dunk 87 speed ball 86 bono 88 speed acceleration as well as an 86 lateral quickness but the thing is he has hall of fame shows i'm hall of fame range hall of fame steady flexible hot start hot zone hunter play wise hall of fame quick first step a puck will defensively absolutely incredible I, I kind of highlight the steady because he does have the Ray Allen base on very quick. And I know a lot of people love Tony. And just think about Tony with Hall of Fame steady. That's kind of what you got to think about with Jerry Lucas. Obviously, he's not quite as tall, but he does have the shifty dribble style. Going to be able to curry escape with the Pro 2 current gen next gen. Pro 3 moving by the back. I think Jerry Lucas is going to be a lot of... A lot better than the people initially give him credit for. Now, the release 11 upper could be something that holds him back, but I'm a big fan of Jerry Lucas. Is he going to be worth the grind? Probably not, ultimately, but he's decent enough and, and solid in NBA 2K21. Next, we're going to talk about Dark Matter Bill Walton here. Hey, do I look like Bill Walton? A lot of people say I do, especially when I do grow the beard out, but that's besides the point. Six foot 11, seven three weeks, and he does have power forward eligibility. High spots from three out of five place around the arc. 49 Hall of Fame badges, 16 on gold. And when I say power forward eligibility, just know this. And I'm going to add Mike. Uh, let's just go through his stats first. But just compare him to like a Giannis type of player. Because that's what I'm going to do. 82 three ball, 90 driving dunk, 87 speed ball, 86 ball, 89 speed and an acceleration with a 95 lateral quickness. That lateral quickness is so, so valuable. I cannot harp on that enough. 98 rebounding. Comes with the Hall of Fame Showtime, catch and shoot quarter specialist, high zone under gold range extender, playmaking. Look at him. I mean, what more could you want? Defensively, very, very complete as well. So let's let's just do this. For the average player, they're gonna be able to, you know, at least for the average player. And I, I'm a, I always say I'm an average player, they're at least gonna be able to give him Dan Tony. And that's gonna help his speed. And that's what he needs most. And even after Dan Tony, the 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 shoot I would probably look to give him. Um, is this shoe right here and the reason i say it you can give him the three-point shoe if you want but i think this shoe is going to help him out more than you guys know because yes he's still gonna have an 86 three ball that's gonna be fine enough you should be able to agree with that but that gives his driving dunk to a 99 that gives his ball handle his speed with ball up a little bit and now you're looking at bill walton the only downside is maybe the three ball but outside of that you're looking at a card who basically looks like a goat card Tennessee wise absolutely incredible six wise jump shots 37 on very quick now here's the thing jump shot 37 on very quick is going to be a pretty cheesy release now you're going to have to get used to it but that release is super quick easy to green or not i don't necessarily know that next gen he is going to be able to curry escape which is going to be cheesy doesn't have the best dribble sticks all pro four but my thing is this how does this bill walton card compared to the galaxy of Giannis. is he that much better because you got to get everything and then be willing to spend a thousand tokens on him so do i ultimately think bill walton is worth it i personally don't because even when you compare him to a kareem abdul jabbar i don't see what he gives you over kareem i, I really don't like if you give compare these stats to a badged up Kareem who is seven foot two. The other thing he gives you is the power forward eligibility, but we we saw a lot of content today that we don't even need that many good power forwards anymore. So I would not ever consider anybody or tell anybody to lock in for Bill Walton. But if you want to have another fun card to use, go ahead and do your thing. Next, we get Louis Dampier, only six feet tall, six, seven wingspan. Hot spots forever. He is an exchange reward. So I'm going to tell you guys right now, do not lock in for this card, okay? Do not. I don't care if he's a dark matter. Do not do it. 
44 Hall of Famers, 11 on goal, 98 three ball, 80 driving dunk. Comes with a 98 speed ball, 96 ball hit on 98 speed acceleration. Lose a 97 lateral quickness. Only gold showtime. He does have a Hall of Fame range, flexible. You can give him all the Hall of Fame badges in the world. It's not going to matter. Tony's release on very quick. I mean, I guess. I, I guess. I'm not going to spend any more time on it. Do not get Louis Dampier. Just not even worth looking into. Now we get to the exciting part. Let's start with Triple Threat Online Reward. Bailey Howe. So he's going to start appearing on boards here. Six foot seven, six nine weeks. Man, hot spots from everywhere. 44 out of famous, 21 on gold. 94 three ball, 90 driving dunk, 93 speed ball, 86 ball, and on 93 speed acceleration. This is a 94 lateral quickness. Great rebounder. Hall of Fame showtime, range extender, flexible. Playmake wise, Hall of Fame ankle breaker, handles for days, quick first step time, some puck. Well, look at the defense as well. Can do it all as this Bailey Howell card. Can now, I was a big fan of the Amethyst. The one thing I will say is you're going to have to probably run Bailey Howe at small forward. That's just the way it is because he's basically, think of DeMar DeRozan's player build. It's what Bailey Howe is going to give you as a power forward, small forward. 95 driving dunk tendency, good enough defensive tendencies. Obviously does have the T-Mac base on very quick pro two size up escape. Hold up, do we have any very quick? I was going to say, he does have T-Macs for base on very quick. I don't know if we have any of those in the game because even if I look at, you know, the DeRozans of the world, I don't think he has the, that base on very quick, does he? I think it's just on quick. Let me make, make sure I know what I'm talking about here. I think it's just on quick, right? Yeah. So he has T-Macs base on very quick, which, I mean, can be a big addition. We'll see how that is. But quick dribble style, pro two sides of skate, pro one moving by the back. Basically a DeRozan clone with the very quick T-Mac bases, which you're looking at with Bailey Howe. Best thing about Bailey Howe is he's a free card available with Triple Threat Online. So if you want to grind Triple Threat Online for Bailey Howe, I don't blame you. The card looks absolutely incredible, at least to me. After him, we are going to talk about Larry here, Larry Keenan, who I think might be the most worth it reward. Now he's available in Triple Threat Offline, 6'9", 6'10", wingspan. Hot spots from everywhere outside of the top of the key. 46 Hall of Famers, 22 on gold. So that's 68 total badges. 86 three ball, 98 driving dunk, 91 speed ball, and 86 ball handle. 94 speed acceleration was a 96 lateral quickness. Hall of Fame showtime, flexible only, gold range, ankle breaker on Hall of Fame. Handles for days, quick first step, unpluckable. Defensively, I think we've gotten to see our best defensive player in the game. Lacking one Hall of Fame badge, and that's off-ball pest. Everything else he does indeed have. Tendency-wise, absolutely stellar. Six-wise, jump shot, four on very quick. Pro two sides of escape. Pro five, moving by the back. Quick dribble style. You're looking at basically another Bobby Jones type card is what you're looking at with Larry. That's the easiest way I can describe it. He's going to be dunking on people. It's just going to come down to can you get his release down. I think with these hot spots, you should be able to. Larry's absolutely incredible. Again, a card I'd run at that small forward position. Next, we're going to talk about Sidney Moncrief, an Ascension reward. And when was the last time we saw a good or usable Ascension reward? Jump shot 28 on very quick. What even is this release? Mark Price release. I guess he's got Pro 2 all across the board. I Look, he's an Ascension reward, I guess. Uh, but the bad thing is he's a 6'3 point guard. That's a defensive point guard for the time we're in. 98 speed ball, 93 ball, 98 speed acceleration, 99 lateral quickness. Look at the defensive badges. Like, it's just here's the thing. If you get Sidney Moncrief, you can absolutely use him, but he's just mid. He's just mid. He doesn't even have Hall of Fame showtime, only golden range extender. What is Sidney Moncrief really giving you? If you get him as a free point guard, go ahead and use him. He is an essential award, but he's not something to get super, super excited about. Similar to Billy Cunningham last year or last season. Next, we get unlimited reward Larry Johnson. Six foot seven, six ten weeks. And again, a guard I'd recommend playing at the small forward position. Hot spots from everywhere. 47 Hall of Famers, 21 on gold, 95 three ball, 90 driving dunk, 92 speed ball, 86 ball handle, 94 speed acceleration, as well as at 94 lateral quickness. Hall of Fame Showtime Flexible Range Extender Hot Zone Hunter Dimer. Handles for days, quick first step tightness and plug with defensively absolutely incredible as well what can this larry johnson not do that's my question for you guys 95 driving dunk tendency incredible defensive tendencies jump shot 13 a very solid release that on very quick quick dribble style pro two sides of escape pro two tween pro three move by the back look they juiced up this larry johnson as much as they could whether you like the card or not that's ultimately up to you larry johnson's very incredible in nba 2k21 there is no doubt about that Next, we get to the late, great Elgin Bailey. 
Shout out Elgin, man. You'll always have a special place in my heart. Crazy thing about Elgin is he has 72 base badges. Every badge in the game outside of Steady Shooter or Dream Shake, Elgin Baylor is going to have. 6'5", 6'8", wingspan, hot spots from everywhere can run the two for you. 94 three ball, only an 85 driving dunk, kind of confused there. 94 speed ball, 91 ball handle, 95 speed, 97 lateral quickness, great rebounder. Hall of Fame showtime, Hall of Fame range, Hall of Fame flexible. Obviously, playmaker wise, you're going to have the quick first step, unpluckable ankle breakers, and then defensively, very, very solid as well. Tendency wise, pretty solid. Sig wise, Dante X some base on very quick. Oh my goodness. Hold up here. I was expecting this to just say his old base, which was, uh, you know, the typical, uh, what, what even is that base called? Brook Lopez base, I'm pretty sure. Quick dribble style, pro two size of escape, pro two tween, pro three move on the back. Hey. With the X and base, I, I can't sit here and say he's going to be a top shooting guard in the game. But for a free shooting guard, I don't think the card's going to be worthless. He's going to serve a purpose, especially with what he's got. Listen, if all if all else fails, you can run him in triple threat offline with the X and base, Curry escape, as your card to kind of get through offline. I personally will grind for Elgin Baylor just because they'll always have kind of that special place in my heart. So that's why Elgin Baylor is worth it, in my opinion, as the limited reward. Last but not least... The 150,000 XP reward, Vince Carter. He can be, a, you know, attainable right away. 6'6", six, 6'9", six, six, wingspan, hot spots from everywhere. 47 Hall of Famers, 12 on gold. Big question is, what is this Vince going to do better than this Vince Carter? That's the real big question mark that a lot of people have. First thing, does he have a very quick release? He does. So that's the first question mark. 97 three ball, 99 driving dunk, 95 speed ball, 97 ball, and 97 speed acceleration, 97 lateral quickness, good rebounding as well. So if you're looking for a GOAT card stat-wise, he's, he's there. He's got everything you need. Finishing-wise, Hall of Fame showtime range, hot zone hunter, flexible volume shooter. Play wise Hall of Fame ankle breaker, quick first step, needle threader, stop and go, space crater, unpluckable. Defensively, very, very solid as well. Tendency-wise, you couldn't ask for more. Vince Carter's release on very quick. Pro 2 size of escape. Pro 3 move by the back. I mean, there's a lot to like about Vince Carter. The ultimate kind of downfall is that you use the XP grind reward. Am I going to grind it? We'll see how hard it is. Uh, I, I wouldn't recommend you guys grinding. I don't think Vince Carter is that incredible. Doesn't have steady shooters. So if you're on current gen, I think he's going to be even better. For my no money spent account, we'll see if I do end up grinding it. Depends on how, again, easy it ultimately is. But the card's not bad. If they could make a, we'll see what the Vince Carter's release is like on very quick, but they've basically made this Vince Carter as good as possible. So reward wise, who am I highest on? Probably Larry Johnson, Larry, uh, Larry Keenan, and then Bailey Howe as far as Galaxy Up rewards. I think Jerry Lucas, if you are getting a grind triple threat offline, is not bad. Um, I think he's okay. Outside of that, Steve Smith, not super high on Zebo is okay. Both these guys are just okay. Pink Diamonds, Harrison Barnes is pretty mid. Kevin Martins, I mean, next gen, maybe. But then all the budget players, nobody there. So I would say reward-wise, we got pretty pretty mid-rewards all the way around. Larry Johnson's a card I'm going to grind for. We'll see how many unlimited wins you do need for him. And then Vince Carter, obviously, is incredible. So guys that I would say are, are grindable, Larry right away, Bailey Howard, the triple threat modes are okay to grind as well as my team unlimited that's where i'm going to put my focus let me know down below in the comments are you guys most excited about vince elgin who's your guys most exciting player you guys gonna lock in the tokens for bill walton let me know down below in the comments drop a like on the video subscribe if you are new and as always man i love you guys and have a blessed day